From all they need to be adopted into their forever home. To find out more about our life-saving mission, go to goldenforsociety.org. That's goldenforsociety.org. Also by Golden Force Society. Wayne's News Time 434, while people on the internet track very specific things, and celebs' private jets are among them. According to Rolling Stone, a new report trying to track the carbon emissions of celebrity private planes, and Taylor Swift touched that list. to uproar Kylie Jenner caused recently when she took a 17 minute long private jet flight according to Yard. Swift jet to 170 times between January 1st and July 19th of this year. That's the number for which the Yard studies. That comes out to just about 15.9 days in the air. Now that output has created an estimated total flight emissions of 8,200 tons of carbon. Yard says that is nearly 1,200 times more than the average person's total annual solo emissions. A spokesperson for Swift said that Taylor's jet is loaned out regularly to other individuals. To attribute most or all of these trips to her is blatantly incorrect. Coming in at number two, boxer Floyd Mayweather. And at number three, Jay-Z, who flies on the Puma jet. That's a jet that creative director of Fort Puma reportedly bought as a perk for athletes it endorses. Other celebs on that list include Drake, A-Rod, and Steven Spielberg. We blame the supply chain crisis for this sweet problem. Here's something super frightening. Just in time for Halloween, candy may be scarce. Hershey says it expects to face a candy shortage amid the ongoing struggles with the global supply chain. The company's CEO warns specifically that it would not be able to meet the demand for Halloween this year. While the company has added production capacity, it says it just can't keep up with balancing their regular trees with holiday-themed sweets. So you may not find as many for the trick-or-treaters from October. <laughs> Imagine calling 911 in an emergency and seconds later the operator starts snoring. That is what one Houston man said happened to him which has led to the Houston Emergency Center starting an investigation after that caller complained. He says he was put on hold for about three minutes and then when finally someone picked up, sounded like they fell asleep 30 seconds in. Officials say they will take appropriate personnel action after investigating, but the emergency center's manager adds employees have been working a lot of overtime because of staff shortages. Now to the latest on the Texas school massacre for a small survivor. Maya Zamor got a hero's send-off from the staff at University Hospital in San Antonio, Texas, Friday afternoon. <laughs> The 10-year-old spent more than two months in the hospital recovering from injuries she received in the Uvalde school shooting May 24th. She was the last shooting victim to be released from the hospital. That was correspondent Jim Crassula reporting with News Time 437, 10 wins entertainment news in 60 seconds. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Are you getting all the benefits you need? If you have Medicare, you may now be able to get new benefits. Benefits may include eyeglasses, wellness visits, gym membership, meal delivery, and hearing aids with low copay. To find out which benefits you qualify for and to find out if you're getting the benefits that you deserve, you need to call Best Medicare. Our licensed insurance agents can look up your current benefits and tell you what additional benefits are available to you. It's easy. Just one call. Tell us the deductibles you prefer, the doctors you want to see, and if you want prescription drug coverage. The service is free and you have no obligation. You may even find plans with zero monthly plan premiums, zero go pays on many services, and zero deductibles. You deserve every medical care coverage benefit out there and we'll help you get them. Call 800-431-6905. 800-431-6905. That's 800-431-6905. And let Best Medicare do the work for you. Like news time 438, now 1010 Lens Entertainment News. Nicki Minaj is out with a new release, her Nicki docuseries. I think the one I'm going to say, she wasn't afraid to say, I'm going to force Nicki Minaj is down. Really trying at the time. I'm fighting for the girls who never thought they could win. A new six-part documentary followed her life and career, and that is on the way. Minaj shared the big news on Twitter along with that trailer. It begins with an early self-tape of Minaj rapping. Her beginnings were humble, but her drive and talent shot her to the top of international stardom. And, of course, rappers today like Doja Cat consistently refer to Minaj as inspiration for their work. Nikki also says she takes her art very seriously and still does not get the respect 
that men do. Entertainment news at 38 past each and every hour right here on 1010 Wins. Wins News Time 439. Individuals and businesses with tax problems. Listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control of your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank accounts, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problem now by calling the experts at U.S. Tax Shield and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. U.S. Tax Shield offers a price protection guarantee quote to get you protected today. U.S. Tax Shield is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, so call now. 800-656-4735. That's 800-656-4735. U.S. Tax Shield. 800-656-4735. The station you know, the people you trust. It comes on Wins. The news watch never stops. This is 1010 Wins. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good afternoon, 86 degrees 440 on your Saturday, July 30th. I am Stephanie Officer. Here's what's happening. The president has tested positive for COVID-19 again. Last night's golden mega billion ticket sold in Illinois for best to work for you here in the tri-state. A beloved 99-year-old grandmother remembered at her funeral yesterday after being hit and killed in a crosswalk a block from her Bronx home. If you spot that junior cheesecake truck this weekend, better weigh it down. Five dollars license seven one. Bishop robbed at gunpoint last week thinks he and other clergy should be permitted to carry. And in sports, top of the seven, Kansas City 2, Yankees 7, Mets in Miami, set at 6-10. 86 degrees, we're sunny, down to 70 in Midtown tonight. Thank you. 441. Let's take it over to traffic and transit on the ones. What's going on, Russ Meyer? We have a tractor trailer on the Meadowbrook Parkway. Parkway needs no tractor trailer, so this is a problem. And uh, we have that southbound delays uh, coming on down from the Old Country Road down towards Hempstead Turnpike. As a result, you can go with Montauk Parkway, which is, of course, we know it's tractor trailer free. And it's also moving well. Also, we'll uh, talk about the drive into and out of the city, and here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. GWB is actually going down a bit. It's about 25 minutes from the lower level, about a half hour for the upper level and down at the Lincoln Tunnel, again down about the 25 minutes in the Holland Tunnel. That's a different story. It's about 45 to 50, as in 50 minutes from both the Turnpike and from 139. So not the best choice right now. Also, looking at slowdowns in Westchester, southbound Hutchinson River Parkway, past the Barnack Avenue, where crash takes out one lane. We got the uh, New England Sewer as an option. Also, the eastbound side of the yellow line is still caught up over by 188th Street with a crash in the left lane to the Grand Central. The better option in that case. East side, west side, uh, got the uh, Henry Austin Parkway and west side Holland, Holland River Drive on the FTI with no major issues. It is going to be still on the Holland River Drive, though, from 150 to the TWB. I'm Russ Meyer next to Port 451 on 1010 Wins. Well, today the White House announced President Biden contracted COVID-19 again just days after testing negative. Aides to the president have said they knew it was possible that the president might be among the small percentage of COVID patients who test positive a few days after they seemingly have recovered from the virus. The president says that he's feeling fine, he has no symptoms, but he's going to isolate for the safety of everyone around him. His plans to travel to Wilmington tomorrow and Michigan on Tuesday have been scrapped. Correspondent Stephen Portnoy reporting. The one winning ticket was sold in Illinois for the Mega Millions jackpot, which rose to a final $1.3 billion. That ticket sold at a Speedway gas station in the Chicago suburb of Best Plains. The winning numbers, 13, 36, 45, 57, 67, and Mega Ball, 14. Someone there is really celebrating. And Mega Millions spokesperson Danielle Shiggy Bab can only speculate on who won. At a jackpot level like this one, you do see a lot of people pulling their money together to get as many tickets as possible and, and hopefully win a jackpot. The $1.3 billion prize is the annual payout. The upfront cash payment is $780.5 million. I'm Julie Walker. Either way, a staggering amount of money, not too shabby for 
what might be a two dollar investment. Meanwhile, a uh, ticket for a million dollars sold here in the Bronx. Al, the worker behind the counter, told our Carol Dioria there was a million dollar winner once before at that very same place. Yeah. Would you say this is the lucky spot? Yes. Yeah. 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 Why didn't they hit twice in the same spot? <laughs> Probably the third one will be the jackpot. <laughs> when you said 444. Every time you hear the sound of a Northwell ambulance, you know we're responding to an urgent need. But you may not know that this sound is at the scene of another emergency. Hunger in our schools. That's why we created the Wellness on Wheels program. Bringing healthy food and nutrition guidance to thousands of school kids in New York. Because when it comes to raising the health of our communities, well can't wait. Northwell, raise health. The YMCA is just the starting line. So the true self story only when we find our purpose or make the stick below the surface. My why is diversity in you. A safe space in my community, living with sincerity, giving every day to my everything. With my why, I stand strong, seen and supported all along. It's a million faces and a mirror is everyone along. Find your why. Learn more at YMCA.org for a better us. Since this time, 445, the U.S. now has the largest number of confirmed monkeypox cases globally, with cases found in 46 states and in D.C., California, New York, the highest number of cases. Dr. Susan Phillips, San Francisco's top doctor, says the city needs about 70,000 doses to get a handle on the outbreak. And right now, who is eligible to receive a vaccine? We are really prioritizing limited vaccines to the populations that are most impacted. So that is including gay men, bisexual men, other men who have sex with men. Correspondent Tanya Rivera reporting. The virus spreads through prolonged and close skin-to-skin -skin contact, as well as sharing bedding, towels, and clothing. The state health commissioner, Dr. Mary Bassett, tells Prince and Wins we need more monkeypox vaccines. From our share, we, we sent 2,000 doses to New York City in an effort to, uh, to offset the gap between the number of cases that they have and the proportion of the vaccine that they've received. But all of us uh, know that we, we need more vaccine. News time 446. A man who was driving in East New York, Brooklyn, is now in critical condition after two, two car seats shot him twice. During a robbery early this morning, cops say he was driving on Sheffield Avenue near Linden Boulevard around 4. The two men approached the car and held him at gunpoint. They demanded his wallet, which he turned over, and then told him to hand over the keys. Well, when he either refused or didn't comply fast enough, the carjacker reportedly shot him twice in his chest before running away. Emergency responders rushed into Brookdale Medical center in critical condition. No arrests just yet, and that investigation continues. Meanwhile, a beloved 99-year-old widow and grandmother was remembered at her funeral yesterday. As tenacious and eager, the victim of a hit and uh, an accident Wednesday morning, pretty short, stopped inside her local grocery store to send a letter. She was getting killed by an SUV driver, turning only a block from her Riverdale home, according to officials at 8 in morning. Short suffered a severe head injuries and passed away at St. Barnabas Hospital. Cops are investigating whether that driver ignored a stop sign before the deadly collision, although no charges have been filed yet. Short had just emailed her daughter-in-law before heading out to mail that letter. A neighbor said she and Short had often spoken about that crosswalk where she was hit, saying it is horrendously dangerous. Transportation alternatives. An advocacy group promoting bike and pedestrian safety for 25 New Yorkers aged 65 and up were killed citywide so far this year, including five in the Bronx.